When these, you know, the most I said, we can't defile our temple. A lot of us used to smoke weed and do drugs. That's right. You know, sister, when we, when each man give you a testimony, when we put that blunt down, what the most high do for you, man. That's right. For me, for me, he, he, he got me out of living in a basement, got my own place, got a car, gave me a new life. All I had to do was start smoking weed. And I was smoking weed for years. In two months after I put the blunt down, my whole life changed. This brother, tell him what happened. I had a problem smoking weed. Everything just crashed. I had lost a good paying job. Everything just, I was falling. I put the blunt down. I started my job Monday morning at 6.30. Oh, wait, wait. Right. It's, it's, the, it's every time you do something obedient, that's when the Most High gonna help you. It's not so much that he feels sorry for you, that you hurt, he gonna help you. He wants you to say, I'm hurt, because I'm not doing what you're saying. So once I start doing what you're saying, then you're gonna help me. You understand? Most High is good. Ain't nobody hiring right now. The man got the hell's going, what, what, what's this, what's this? What's this? <laughs> That dude that be driving around the block. Let me just drop you that white guy. Yeah. Hey, Sister Lucky, thank you for listening. Give us the bless. We're going to be here every Saturday. Anytime you need to talk. You got a question? Get him. Okay. What's your father winning? Don't worry about it. Uh, y'all, y'all get back in order. All right. We teach the Bible as written, right? Ah, that's, that's right. That's right. Psalms 147 and 19. It's a song. Chapter 147. Hold on. And look, see? He came and brought them. He showed this word unto Jacob. He does what? He showed his word unto Jacob. Who is Jacob? The whole tribe of Israel. Black and Spanish and Native American. Wait. Read it again. He showed his word unto Jacob. It's in the Bible. His word was shown to the Israelites. Come on. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. And his laws he taught to the Israelites. He had to say it twice. Come on. He had not dealt so with any nation. That's why you a special people, man. You blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics are some special people, man. Y'all are some resilient people, man. Y'all are some resilient people. Read. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the most Watch your back, watch your back, watch your back. What's wrong? Let, let us teach the Bible. Read it again. Uh, he showed this word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any nation. He hasn't dealt so with any other nation of people. Every time I go out, you know I gotta show out. Every time I go out, you know I bring a hoe out. To say all I want for my birthday Yo, we don't think you're funny. Big booty hoe. We don't think you're funny. We want to see you come out of that. We want to see you who you used to be before all this happened. That's nah, right. you don't want to see me before I used to be. I was held on wheels. Jesus really Nothing has up. changed. Uh, I don't even got that. <laughs> no, nah, this is my personal stuff. It got HIV stuff in it. We don't think you're funny. We want, we would, we would love to help you. Stop, stop it. Hey sister, stop. They put me on camera. Stop, we not, we don't think you funny. We love God, why you do this? I love God. So then let us read his word. Stop distracting. Now fall back, go to the back. Read it again. 
And there you have it. Man. Read, man. Yeah. Psalms 147. Oh, so like, it's Psalms 147, verse 19. I, I don't, he showed this word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. As for his judgments, they have not known them. After so. saying that, what did he say next? Praise ye Yahweh. That's right. Why did we praise the Lord that nobody else knows God's laws but us? Because to know God's laws mean that you're in covenant with him. Which means the promises and everything and all the stuff that come with the covenant goes with you. Deuteronomy 76. So precept. Amos so 3 and Amo, read your precept. Amos 3 and 2. Uh, let me get Isaiah. Let me get Isaiah 45, 17. Let me get Psalm 78 and 5. Let me get 2nd Edges 5 and 27. Let me get uh, 2nd Edges 3 and 34. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 29. The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. That's right. That's right. Great precept, Elijah. Read. We got another one. This is the book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Hear this word that the Howa has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, listen, saying, Listen, listen what God said to us. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Why is there no Christian apologetic breakdown for Amos 3 and 2? Spiritual history. That's in the book of... Um, doesn't matter anymore, so I'll test you. That's the break. There it is. <laughs> Where is spiritual Israel? Where is this? Did the Bible take the word spiritual and Israel follows it? Uh, what is it? Uh, it's the graphing in when he says, no, uh, um, Is Israel of God? <laughs> the book of Enoch. It's in John 3 6 folly. <laughs> no pictures. pictures. Thank you. Come listen to us. Come hear the word. He don't look like one of them. He 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 been riding around in the dinged up A7 all day. He, we seen him when we first came to camp. He been riding around. I think he he might he might be a, he might be the man around here. If you understand. Uh, read another precept. Check out two. This is the book of Joel chapter two verse twenty seven. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and, and none, none else. else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Who is the Lord? Who is the Lord's people? Israel, Israel, man. Sometimes you gotta go through the classic scriptures on this closing of the Passover. That's right. Read what you got, Benaiah. Uh, this is the book of Second Edges, chapter uh, two, verse thirty. No, chapter three, verse thirty-four. Bring it out. Weigh thou thyself our wickedness now in the balance. And there's also that dwell in the world. And so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. That's wow. Read that again. Weigh thou therefore our wickedness now in the balance. He, he's petitioning the most high to evaluate us now. Go ahead. It's time for the judgment. Come on. And there's also dwell in the world. And then weigh the wickedness of them that live in the earth. Them too. Weigh their wickedness. Look at the wickedness of Israel and then look at the wickedness of the other nations. Go ahead, Most High. Come on. And so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. And, you, and Lord, you will, and Ezra was bold. <laughs> you will not find your name anywhere else but amongst us. That's, right. That's him lawyering for us. By Shema By Shema He's trying to save us. Hey, man. Yeah. I was about man. to go into that um, earlier. Ezra tried to save us a lot. Because you're a Wariala, he was trying to get us up out of here. That angel was sick of us. Uh, I caught another precept. Read. Uh, yeah, read. Second uh, Ezra chapter 3, verse 34. Bring it out. When thou, therefore, I mean, weigh thou therefore our wickedness. No, he just read that. Yeah, that's right. Give me, give me Second Edges five and twenty-seven. This is Second Edges, chapter five and verse twenty-seven. And among all the multitude of peoples, thou hast gotten thee one people, and unto this people. Wait, 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 wait. See, I, I don't race through the Bible no more. I evaluate everything I'm reading. Say it again. And among all the multitudes of peoples, thou hast gotten thee. One people. How can you make that spiritual Israel? He wouldn't have started it like that. 
among the multitudes of people. Satan is here. They, they did that twice. Just riding by screaming. Riding around screaming no, at brother, that one people is the, the people that love God. No. <laughs> of all the multitudes of peoples, that's different nations, uh, thou has gotten the... Thou has gotten the what? One people. Read on. And unto this people whom thou lovest, Thou gavest a law that is approved of all. The, this is that people you love, thou gave them the law. Didn't David just say, he showed his judgments to Jacob and his statutes to Israel? So then you cannot make this scripture mean something else. Because he's qualifying everything. Multitudes of people, you got one people. And that one people, you gave them a law. We, we're talking about Israel. Right. Read. Verse 28. And now, O Lord, why hast thou given this one people over unto many? And upon the root. So like Whoa. He, why hast thou given this one people over to many? How can that be spiritual Israel? Did all, did all the spiritual Israelites go into slavery? Nah. Was Esau with us? Picking cotton? 300 pounds? Nah. Was Esau with us? Crying with his woman when their baby was being thrown to a damn alligator? Nah. No, no. Hey. That's right, Elder. That's right, Elder. That white man wasn't with us. He wasn't with us when we were shooting in the gym. Yeah, right. <laughs> but he won the championship trophy. Yeah. No. Right. No. Read. And upon the one root hast thou prepared others. And why hast thou scattered thy only one people among many? Now, was spiritual Israel scattered among many? Or was the Israelites scattered? Israel. See what I'm saying, man? That's why they don't want you to handle this red book. Read on. Spread out, spread out, spread out. Read and on. they which did gainsay the promises and believe not thy covenants have trodden them down. The people that gainsay the promises, did the Israelites Gain say the promise? I don't think so. I think all the Israelites wanted the promises. I think the other nations gain say the promises. Sure you, in the place where it was said, we are not the people, there it shall be said, we are the sons of the living God. So there had to be somebody gain saying that we the people. Nah, y'all ain't no Israelites. Y'all Bantu African. That's what they like to do. Y'all sub-Saharan African. Nah, brother, y'all ham. Brother, you just live with it. Y'all ham. Y'all, y'all are, y'all, y'all are Africans and, and just mad at your history and you trying to be something else, right? They gainsayed us, right? Read that again, huh? Verse 29. And they which did gainsay the promises and believe not thy covenants have trodden them down. And they trotted them down. Come on. If thou didst so much hate thy people, yet shouldest thou punish them with thine own hands? Come on. Now, when I have spoken these words, the angel that came unto me the night afore was sent unto me and said unto me, Hear me, and I will instruct thee. Hearken to do the thing that I say, and I shall tell thee more. So now, Ezra is Thank about you. to work with Awariala. Uriel, ain't the light of God. Awari Allah. Yara Allah. Right? See? 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 He said he got it. Yo, it's the middle of coronavirus pandemic. And niggas is still scoffing. Niggas is scoffing into the destruction of the earth. When the chariots come back and the Most High is dropping millstones on this place, niggas gonna he still be scoffing. Precept, 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 precept. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 18. Pride goeth before, before a destruction. destruction. And a haughty spirit before a fall. That's right. Haughty. 16, 18. Now let's go to second address. I'm gonna show you something, man. Drop that. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Go to 2nd Ezra chapter 4 and read verse 1. We're going to deal with this now. We're going to deal with a Awariala now. All right? Let's, let's, go, let's deal with it. Let's go into the scriptures. All right? That's why we out here. Come on, brother. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 4 and verse 1. And the angel that was sent unto me 
whose name is Uriel, gave me an answer and said, Thy heart has gone too far in this world. That's the problem with a lot of us Israelites. Our heart has gone too far in this world. We trying to comprehend the way of the Most High. We trying to make sense of the work that the Lord is doing. Instead of submitting to it, we trying to uh, 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 solve it and calculate it. All right. You know? Yeah, that's why they're going to yeah. more science. Hey, hey. This should be a great honor to be scoffed to that level. That man called for you to get out of the earth. That demon is mad, man. That demon is mad, but the spirit is so powerful over here, he won't even come near. The beginning of the words of his mouth is foolishness. And the end of his talk is mischievous madness. Yo. <laughs> That's a great cut. Very good scripture. Man. Great precept. Read on, y'all are done. Verse, uh, verse 2. 2nd Ezra uh, chapter 4 and verse 2. Bring it out. And said, Thy heart has gone too far in this world. See? Come on. And thinkest thou to comprehend the way of the Most High? See, Ezra was reasoning so tough with the Most High, not to destroy the Israelites, he began to ask questions. And one of his questions was, why did you even make us if this was our end, right? That's a hard question, right? So the Most High sent the angel to check Ezra, uh, Ezra just like he did uh, to Job. When Job got frustrated in the end, yo, Job said, I'll declare myself blameless. He said, hold up, I'm out. I'll declare myself a prince. Because Job was fed up with his suffering and he felt like, yo, man, I ain't even do nothing to deserve this. And that's and the most high answered him from the world when he said, What you said? Yes. Where was you when I laid the foundations of the earth? That's right. Uh, what? what? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you, made, you made yourself bigger than thou art. So the most high is checking Ezra righteously here. Second Ezra chapter 4, read it any time. Come on, brother. Verse 3. Then said I, yea, my Lord. And he answered me and said, I am sent to show thee three ways. I'm sent to show you three ways. Come on. And to set forth three similitudes before thee. So I'm going to do three parables in front of thine eyes. Come on. Verse 4. Where, where, whereof, if thou canst declare me one, I will show thee also the way that thou desirest to see. So if you can answer one of my questions, Ezra, I'm going to give you the answer to your question. If you can answer one of mine, give me Isaiah 55 and 8. Give me Isaiah 40, 28. I give, me, Isaiah. give me 1 Corinthians 7, 31. Give me Psalms 139, 6. Give me Psalm 147, 5. Isaiah 55 and 8. Right, right. So Isaiah back. chapter 55 verse 8 says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts. That's the first cut. Because he said, Ezra, you, 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 you think you could comprehend the way of the Most High? We got brothers out here trying to figure out how this universe works, man. I'm saying, right? Telling me factually that the earth is on a pillar and it's flat and there's glass and there's water and, and, yeah. it's, and the moon is a paper plate and... <laughs> and and uh, and and, and, uh, and the sun is on a track and and it's a big paper plate too, but thy, it shines and glows. Thy, thy mind has gone too far in this world. You think to comprehend the way of the Most High? You don't think it's more complex than that, brother? Kind. Nope. Kind. You not haven't possible, you haven't thought for a second that it might be more to it than thou canst understand. It's not possible. Ain't no other galaxies. Ain't no ain't no other galaxies. Ain't no such thing as planets. Whoa, 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 brother. Thy mind has gone. What? So, 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 so the, most high, up, the most high only has power to make this. That stuff that you see through the telescope, he didn't make that. It's tricked, though. Esau put it up there. Yeah, right. But Esau never been out there, though. But Esau never been out there, but he put it up there. Oh, brother. Oh. Thy mind has gone too far in this world. You think to comprehend the way of the most high. Brothers don't even give way to wonder anymore. <laughs> we, we've lost the uh, right. ability to wonder. There's no imagination. What happened? Who did that to you? 
No pictures. Thank you. Come, come listen to us. Come listen. Us. They're trying to take me. Okay, okay, okay. Read this again, read this again. Go ahead, go ahead. Isaiah 55 and 8. Hey, brothers, we ain't gonna keep y'all long. We're gonna shut it down in a minute. Come on. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Come on. Neither are your ways my way, saith Yahweh. Read. Uh, none. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. Brothers gotta understand that, man. Brothers gotta understand that. Read what you got. Run them precepts. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 31. Bring it up. And they that use yeah, this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passeth away. You can use this world and don't abuse. That's what I call 1 Corinthians 13 and 7. 7 and 31. 7 and 31. Let me make sure that's correct. Um, I wonder why I put that precept there. It had to be a reason. That it uses the word world, but it doesn't go with what we're talking about. Save that precept. I don't have to study that. Read what you got. I dropped it. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 28. Has thou not known? Has thou not heard? That the everlasting God, Yahweh, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary, neither is no searching of his understanding. There's no searching of the Lord's understanding. Huh? All right. All right. And that's a cut to the Muslims who say the Bible is wicked because it said on the seventh day he rested. Muslims are saying, why does God have to rest? Your Bible is corrupt. Read that again. Come. Isaiah 40 and 28. Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard? That the everlasting God, Yahweh, the creator of the And the cops is looking at us, and they'll say nothing to the eyes. <laughs> he, he looked. He, he, That's, you know, <laughs> That's crazy. Yo, yo. That's what we said earlier. He, look, look, he creeping on us, man. <laughs> Follow the guys with the bikes. <laughs> oh my God. He was got it. Isaiah 40 and 28, hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting power, Yahweh, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary, there is no searching of his understanding. So no Ishmael, God does not get tired, he fainteth not, neither is he weary. When it says the Most High rested on the seventh day, he retired from his work, that's all that means. Y'all don't understand the Bible. You're trying to get a Quran and teach the Bible back to us. That's 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 professing knowledge that thou hast not. Uh, uh. You don't know these scriptures. Who else got one that I call for? Give me uh, uh, Psalm 139 and 6. Give me Psalms 147 and 5. Psalms 139 and 6. I got 47 and 5. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. See, what? look. Why we can't admit that sometimes? Why we can't say that sometimes? Hey, I, I, I understand. Hold on. Yo, man. Look at him. Spirit's out today, man. They think of the, the Israelites. They think of that. Stupid. Stupid Akata. Look, man, I hate five points. I hate it here. We do not come out here for vainglory. If you be out here for five minutes, you rip your beard off. This is work, man. This is laborious work. Read the, read the scripture. Read the song. Psalms 139, verse 6. What happened no. to the order of the line? What happened? What happened? What happened? 
Wait, wait, wait. Such knowledge is too, too wonderful for me. See, why can David say that? Uh, Read on. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. I don't know how the sun work. I'm not gonna decide that the sun is inside the firmament with me and, it, and it's right there and, and the Esau done made a hologram. How come it can't just be too high for me to understand, all right? I did the math, we did the trigonometry, the damn thing is 93 million miles away. We did the math. Hold on, can I, can I talk about that? Go ahead, go ahead. Sidebar, 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 sidebar. Stand right here, stand right here, watch out, watch out. Stand right here, put, put the staff on it. Right. Sidebar, sidebar. The strongest shape in all of nature is the triangle. That's, called, that's why the keystone works. The force of a triangle. A triangle shares weight. Every side bears the weight of the other side. In a perfect union, a square flexes. A bar bends. A triangle is the strongest shape. Every side bears the weight of the other side. Yes? Yeah. Between me and Benaya is a certain distance. Yes? Yeah. We can measure that distance, right? Yeah. Me and Benaya are gonna look at that plane in the sky. Where he's standing, the plane is at a different angle than where I'm standing, right? Yeah. What's the truth of a triangle? 180 degrees. So whatever the degree he see the plane and the degree I see the plane, What's the degree left over? It equal 180, yes? Yes. That's how you solve for the distance from us to the plane. The math cannot be defeated. Use that light pole and do the same thing. The light pole will come out 78 feet away. We look at the statue, 26 feet away, doing the same math. So why does it change when we look at the sun in the sky? Esau ain't come up with that math. Our people figured that out in BC days, man. That's how they came up with the number, how far the sun is away, man. Mathematics. The Hebrew word for truth is amath. So stop saying shit about the sun, bruh. You ain't studied that, and mathematically, you cannot prove that. So can you just say that knowledge is too high for me? rather than feed doctrines and profess knowledge that thou hast not. We've been reading the humble prophets all day. Go ahead. You want yours or you want yours? Read what you got. This is Sirach chapter three, verse 21. Seek not out the things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength. There you go. But what is commanded of thee. Meditate on that. Think thereupon with reverence, for it is not needed for uh, it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. Be not curious in unnecessary matters. Yeah, we had to read this earlier, God. For more things are showed unto thee than men understand. Now, am I mad at brothers that believe in the firmament as a glass dome doctrine? I'm not mad at them. I'm just saying, hey, yo, Daniel told you knowledge will increase in the latter days. Why don't you look into this thing a little bit? Hold on. Hey, I. I'm gonna put your pants up. Yo. Sand gave him a little toe. It look like the pants ain't that long either. Like if you pull them up all the way, they're not gonna fit. You know what I'm saying? Like and the most I put a heat. The most I sent a heat to try to take pictures. Don't record us. No pictures. Hey, but notice that I was feeling embarrassed about him. And then there was a heathen right there looking at him. We embarrass ourselves in front of the nation. Shaking of the head. Shaking of the head, wagging of the finger, man. This shit low too. Go back to Awariala, man. Second address four and one. Oh, you had another precept? There's something you want to Read, 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 read. You asked for 147 and five. You still want that? Yeah. Psalm 147 and five. Great is our Lord, 
and of great power. His understanding is infinite. What if his understanding is infinite? Why are you trying to search it? Think thereupon the thing that was commanded to you, and think thereupon with reverence. Just focus on keeping the commandments. I, all this other stuff is beyond your strength, man. What's up? Go ahead. This is the book, book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 5 and 6. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that you should do so in the land whether you go to possess it. Therefore, and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, there you go. which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. How are you going to say we are wise and understanding people and you damn sagging your pants to the floor? Right now, today, i never seen this many pictures taken at a camp. Another nigga trying to take pictures. Yeah. They can't believe we out here, man. Satan is really irritating today. Out here. He ain't vacuuming shit. <laughs> There's nothing going up. That's it. Just making noise. Just doing slow donuts. That's the first piece of trash you picked up. You should have been picked all the trash up by the And been left. You can pay about an hour, huh? I want a school. I want to teach in a building with closed doors where the heathen can't come in. That's right. And the sisters made good food that smelled good already. Yeah. And we can't wait to eat and close the damn Passover out. I want a school, man. And I don't want the people to build us a school. I want the sons of thunder Israelites to build the school. That's right! Put your own damn brick in for the thing that you want, man. <laughs> The most high's understanding is infinite, man. So why can't the space be infinite? Why can't existence be infinite? I tell brothers this all the time. If we live forever and never die and make babies like Israelites make babies for eternity, how can the earth sustain? <laughs> At some point, we're going to run out of surface area. What you think the other planets was made for? What you think the other galaxies was made for? Mm. What you think the other Earth-like planets was made for? They yeah, don't think about that. Oh, Joel going off. We think it's other planets, man. We can't watch this. <laughs> well, the Bible say planets. <laughs> Big little planets. Everybody waiting for that precept. <laughs> you gotta prove that. I gotta prove that. All right. Um, <coughs> give me. Uh, my phone is this. Give me. Uh, no, it's not. Yeah. We're going on 20%. 2nd Kings so three, 23 and 5. 20? Don't let it die. Don't let it die. 2nd Kings 23 and 5. 2nd Kings 23 and 5. And he put down the adulterous no, no, priest. No, no, you got to let him hear you. Oh. 2nd Kings. Why, why is he right here and just stopped? Right here. Back, back it up. <laughs> Like he was there for like fifteen. He was there for like fifteen minutes. <laughs> and what's wrong with this nigga? Bro, he's in a he's in a lower state. He's in a lower state. Read, read second case, guy. Second Kings, twenty three five. And he put down the adulterous priests whom the kings of Judah had ordained to burn incense in the high places in the cities of Judah. Come on. And the places round about Jerusalem. Where they did what? Them also that burned incense unto Baal, the sun, and the moon, and to the planets, and to all the hosts of heaven. I thought it was no planets. It's just a light. Uh, there's no planets. There's no such thing as planets. The Bible say planets. Uh, planets mean nations. Uh, no, I don't want to hear none of that. <laughs> it's like, it's like hey, hey, I, listen, <laughs> listen, man. It ain't time for doctrines. Just read what it say and get you a precept. Find a precept that prove it means what you say exactly. it means. For understanding. Other than that, don't say nothing. For understanding's sake. Take over. This is the book of Second Ezra. Yo, hold on. 
Why is he vacuuming? He's going back. He's coming back this way. I thought he already cleaned it. He's about out. Huh? It's like he's looking at it. He's like, look. What's up? Now you're going to slow down. Now look, he's going to stop. Yo, a lot of these people are set up, man. A lot of these people getting tips from Esau. Hey, man, disrupt their gathering, man. Make noise. Make them guys get out of here, man. A lot of that is going on. It ain't gonna work. This is what we deal with at five months, man. We, we cannot get through this chapter. It's gonna be ridiculous. Two hours later. Teach the people that want to learn. Yeah, yeah. Read or not, he been waiting to read. <laughs> this is the, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter four and verse two. Come on. And they said and said, Thy heart hath gone too far in this world, and thinkest thou to comprehend the way of the Most High? Verse three. Then said I, Yea, my Lord. And he answered me and said, I am sent to shew thee three ways and to set forth three similitudes before thee. Whereof, if thou canst declare me one, I will shew thee also the way. So now, Ezra, the angel told Ezra, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna give you three riddles. And if you can answer them, I'll answer your question. That's where we left off, go ahead. I will shew thee also the way that thou desirest to see, and shall shew thee from whence the wicked heart cometh. Come on, verse five. And I said, Tell on, my lord. Then said he unto me, Go thy way. Weigh me the weight of fire. First question. How much does fire weigh? Mm. Woo. One point three kilograms. I'm asking to my uh, prospects. I just Googled it. <laughs> <laughs> I studied this. I studied this. Hey, yo, that's a cool t-shirt. I studied this. Hey, 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 that's your question. That's it. Question of the What's the weight of the fire? Justin? The brother said that's too high for me. Kanoa, what's the weight of the fire? I don't know. 144 kilograms. Read on. Or measure me the blast of the wind. Okay. Measure the strength of wind. Somebody will scoff and say, we've, we've done that. We take a sock. Put it in the air, they lick their finger. and we measure this. <laughs> we throw, we, we throw grass. <laughs> we measure the speed of the wind, man. He said, "Measure me the blast of the wind, man." First, you got to know where it comes from. When it comes, read or not, or call me again the day that is past. Okay, the last thing I ask you, recall me a day that has already passed. Bring it back Bring again. It back. Oh, that's impossible. Run it back. Bring that day back again. Can Ezra's do any of them things? Read on. Verse 6. Then answer I and said, What man is able to do that? <laughs> that thou shouldest ask such things of me. Like, why would you even ask me this? Come on, Adam. Why would you do it? Read on. And he said unto me, if I should ask thee how great dwellings are in the midst of the sea, or how many springs are in the beginning of the deep. How many, when the Most High brought water into the earth, how did he start it? Was you there? Ain't that what he asked Job? Where was you when I made the foundations of the earth? Can, can, you, can, can, you, can you call out Le Leviathan? Can you, can you put a hook in his jaw? Say what? Right, can't put a hook in his jaw like he's a little fish. No, no, we're not, we, we, we're not dealing with none of that nigger. We're dealing with some high things right now. Read on. God. Or how many springs are above the firmament? Come on. Or which are the outgoings of paradise? Which, where, where is paradise? Can we return there? She said, how many springs are above the firmament? That's going way over here. That's your What? Our brother says that. See, that means it's waters. He says he said it's above brother. the phone. It's waters above the phone. Above the phone, not in the phone. It's a dome Can above Can you show it. me how many springs are up there? No. No. But it means it's water, brother. Right. Verse 8. Peradventure thou wouldest say unto me, 
I never went down into the deep. No man has been to the bottom of the ocean. They tell you Jacques Cousteau went down there. No, he didn't touch the very bottom. He went to Challenger Deep. It gets deeper than that. The water is so viscous at the bottom of the ocean, it's like jelly. That's how much pressure is going on down there. The water is like, it's like oil, right? No man has been down there. If you try to bring a fish from down there up, he explodes because of the pressure. He wasn't made for it. Because he was made to be, he's gonna be blind. At a high pressure. Read on, man. I never went down into the deep, nor as yet into hell. That's right. Neither did I ever climb up into heaven. And he, he don't know because I ain't never been up there to see for myself. So the, so the fool who said, so you that proves that it didn't prove nothing because Ezra's told you how to answer that. I don't know. I've never been up there to see. Not, this is what it is, brother. And, and I'm going to show you what's up there. And, uh, and this drawing from 1871, this, see, this is correct. What, the, why Ezra say, say that? Why Ezra said, I don't know. I've never been up there to see. I don't know. Why you can't say that? Read on. Verse 9. Nevertheless, now have I asked thee, but only of the, of the fire and wind. And the day where, where through thou hast passed. All I asked you was, what's the way to the fire? What's the blast of the wind? And call me a day back that has passed. I didn't even ask you these other things that I know you cannot answer. Read on. And of things from which thou canst, canst not be separated. And yet canst thou give me no answer of them? Come on. Verse 10. He said moreover unto me, thine own things and such are... Salakia. And such as are grown, grown up with thee canst thou not know. Things that grew up with you, things that you've been exposed to your whole life, you don't understand that. Why your fingernails grow? How come you, how come you can see? I understand you can see, but why? Oh, really? And how does it work? Oh. How come you can remember things? What is a memory? What's a dream? What's happening to you? you you sleeping, but why are you living? What is deja vu? Why you felt like I did this moment already, i done this? I know what's gonna happen right next in the next few seconds. There it is. And then it'll leave you. The, the sensation leave you. But what was that? Huh? What the hell is that? These are things that came up with you and you don't understand. Right? He's humbling Ezra's. Read on. Verse 11. How should thy vessel then be able to comprehend the way of the highest? So, so then... How are you going to understand the stuff the Lord do when you can't understand the things that you do? Why are your heart beating? Why are your heart beating? Why is your stomach digesting food that you ate? Why? How come you're not making your stomach digest the food? Why is it just doing it? How does it know to do that? How does it know to do that? Because the Lord did that. Read on, huh? And the world being now outwardly corrupted, to understand the corruption that is evident in my sight. So what Ezra was doing was saying, why did you make us wicked if you knew you was going to punish us for being wicked? And the Most High said, oh, you're trying to get slick. Awari Allah, ask him some questions. <laughs> you want to ask me that? I did it because I felt like it. Pretty Psalms sure. 115 and 3. All right, go ahead. This is Sirach, chapter 33 and verse 13. As the clay is in the potter's hand That's right. to fashion it at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him right. to render to him so like it, to render to them as liketh him best he could do to you whatever pleases him like psalms 115 and 3 say he do whatever he please all right go ahead wisdom of solomon chapter 9 verse 13 for what man is he that can know the counsel of god there you go for who can think what the will of the lord is for the thoughts of mortal men are miserable, <laughs> and our devices are but uncertain. Our devices are uncertain. Hey, the Most High said that about women. He said, her ways are changeable. 
Thou canst not know them. She gonna think this today, and she gonna do this tomorrow. And what's the cliche about women? They wanna change their mind. That's in the Bible. Go ahead. It's the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 20. Nay, but O man, who art thou to reply us against God? Should a thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? That's right. Hath not the potter power over the clay? Of the same lump to make one vessel unto okay. honor, honor and another, another unto, dishon unto dishonor. Uh, that's right, Ock. Read on, Ock. Time. Verse 12. Hey, the word got free course now. We had to endure though. We had to we had to we had to put up with it for a yeah. minute. It took all day. Right? We had to put up with it for a minute. Now we enjoy ourselves. Come on. Verse 12. Then said I unto him. I spoke too soon. <laughs> Satan, Satan is a demon, man. He's a mocker too, go ahead. Verse 12, then said I unto him, it were better that we were not at all than that we should live still in wickedness and to suffer and not to know wherefore. Look, look, look what he said, he said, it's better that you didn't even make us than for us to live, offend you, and not know that we even making you mad and then you punish us. It's better that we don't even exist. Ezra's trying the most high. He's trying to make the most high be nice. He he being pitiful now, right? He not not to not to go off, but he bitching now, right? He bitching now. Why you even make us then? If you if you're gonna just punish us and we don't even know why we're suffering. Right? He he trying to he trying to pull it on the most high's uh heartstrings. Don't do this to Israel. Don't do this. Don't do this to Israel. That's what 2nd Edger 6 and 54 really is. Where come all that? That's really what he doing. He bitching. He like, they nothing. How you gonna let them become lords over us? How long is this gonna endure? Right? We are fervent lords. He's complaining. We possess inheritance in the earth. Yeah, the earth was made for our sakes and we don't have nothing. He's complaining. He's, he's, he's complaining with a level of wisdom though. Yeah. He's complaining with humility, you know. He ain't like Jonah. Jonah was like, ah, oh, it's better that I die. <laughs> <laughs> Jonah tapped out. Jonah was mad when he ain't destroyed Nineveh. <laughs> <laughs>